Nobody likes to think about disaster recovery. We hope that a disaster won't strike and that a meteor won't hit our data center or that the server will catch on fire. But accidents happen, sometimes things go the wrong way, and we need to be prepared for these situations. In disaster recovery, the most important thing is how quickly can I get this application back up and running. Typically, it can take days or weeks to rebuild a complex infrastructure. So many organizations actually run a whole different data center just for their disaster recovery purposes. And this can be expensive because now you have production over here and you have to have an exact copy of production in a different data center running all the time so that it's ready and you don't have to go ahead and build a new production environment when a disaster happens. So it's very costly and difficult to maintain because you've got to have two of everything now. Terraform allows you to be much more dynamic with your disaster recovery plans because you can literally build a DR environment on the fly. If you could stand up your DR or disaster recovery environment in 10 minutes, it may not make sense to keep it running all the time. So the cloud enables you to stand up infrastructure on demand, and that's where Terraform comes in. Terraform can help you very quickly stand up a new infrastructure or new production environment in a different region or even on a different cloud provider in a very short period of time. Terraform is a multi-cloud solution. So I can use Terraform to stand up my application on Amazon or GCP or Azure, Oracle Cloud, Alibaba. And because it's multi-cloud friendly, I can use it to, to build my infrastructure anywhere. Now let's say a disaster did happen. And this is a litmus test. You can, you can do this in your own environment. Walk into your, your server uh, cage or your data center and think about what would happen if you unplugged one of those machines. I used to work with a sysadmin, and he would give tours of the data center. And our sysadmin was very proud of the fact that you could unplug any cable. And he would challenge the customer sometimes, go ahead, pick a cable, unplug it. You won't take anything down because everything has a backup. So ask yourself, what would happen if that machine caught fire? How would I rebuild it? If the answer is anything other than I have my infrastructure as code and I can stand that thing right back up, then you need to work on your DR strategy some more. So the first step to successful DR strategy with Terraform is define all your infrastructure as code. There should be zero manual steps involved, and you should know with confidence that, hey, if I need to rebuild that thing, no problem. I'm gonna go ahead and just run this Terraform command, stand up a copy of production, and keep on, keep on uh, moving. Now let's say we had an incident. Something happened, the data center went completely down, and we need to fail over to a different uh, data center or cloud environment. You can use Terraform to very quickly stand up all the application infrastructure and get everything ready. And so Terraform can be a, a core piece of your DR recovery plans. One thing that Terraform won't do, though, is back up your data. So it's very important that you have a good backup strategy to use along with Terraform so that once your servers and applications are up and running, you also have the databases and everything that you need to keep, you know, to keep your environments up and running. Another thing to keep in mind is that a DR plan without practice is not really a DR plan. So you should be doing regular tests of your DR strategy just to make sure that when, when things really go wrong, that you know it will work because you tested it last week or you tested it last month. Terraform makes this very easy. So you can use Terraform to actually stand up copies of your environment and do practice runs, right, like a fire drill. Make sure that your DR plans work before the disaster happens and not after. Terraform can be an essential part of your disaster recovery strategy because it helps you stand up new infrastructure very quickly and efficiently.